We are about to go back to school shopping at this Walmart in Mississauga because a new survey shows that Canadian parents are expected to spend on average upwards of $700 this year. So I consulted some experts on savvy ways to bring that number down. We're going to see if I can fill a backpack without overspending. First things first, make a list. Personal finance consultant Leslie Ann Scorgi tells me, take an inventory of what you already have at home to avoid buying something you've already paid for. And if the curriculum doesn't call for a calculator until November, wait to buy it. You won't be the only one if your child is only having maybe a fraction of what they need for day one, but uh, you're trickling in some purchases throughout the year when it makes sense to do so. There's a lot of pressure to buy everything brand new. This is, after all, the second largest spending period after the holidays. If you have, say, a backpack already at home, consider leaving the new one behind. If you're unsure, use the $1 rule. The idea along the $1 rule is that you should feel okay if your cost per use is a dollar or less. If that backpack you're investing in is $30, but it's gonna be used many hundreds of days this year, um, that cost per use is well under $1. <laughs> Something to keep in mind is that most snacks in Canada are taxable when sold in quantities of less than six. So if you buy a box of five granola bars versus a box of six, you're going to be paying a sales tax. The industry has actually reduced quantity so much uh, in retail, they're now considered as snacks and snacks are taxed. I'm not picking on a specific product. It's more about the strategy. Food distribution researcher Sylvain Charlebois tells me sending a student off with a sandwich and an apple a day won't bite your budget too hard. Bread and tomatoes are on a downward trend and a protein like hummus will be the best bang for your buck. Per gram, it's the cheapest thing you can get. Bananas, apples, butter eggs, rice, celery, cucumber, bread, all of these products that are heavily utilized when it comes to school lunches are actually likely going to be cheaper this fall. With produce, it's always quite volatile. So tomatoes actually went up uh, significantly this summer, but we are expecting a drop like a BLT. So the B is cheaper, uh, the T is cheaper, but the uh, L is more expensive. So here's the haul, but consider it doesn't account for new clothes or for extracurriculars. One final tip from Scorgy, buy things off season when they go on sale and then save them for next year. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.